Hello and welcome to my class introduction to literature. Last time we finished our discussion regarding drama and today we are going to deal with the short story. Introduction to the short story. Let's begin our, our introduction to the short story by defining the term short story. Short story, brief fictional prose narrative that's shorter than a novel and that usually deals with only a few characters. يبقى الشورت ستوري دي حاجة أقصر كتير من النوفل لأن الأقصر شوية الأقصر شوية من النوفل حاجة اسمها نوفل لا الأقصر كتير بقى من النوفل هي الشورت ستوري يبقى فيها فيو كاركترز elements of short story we have plot setting characters theme point of view as well as good writing لو عملت سيرش عليها ممكن تلاقي حاجات أكتر من كده شوية بس ده بتبقى يعني هما الأساسيين الـ plot setting character theme point of view ساعات بيزودوا حاجات تانية عليها ده ما يقلناش فيش مشكلة Let's begin with the plot Plot is the arrangement of events that make up a story Plot is the arrangement of events that make up a story ونبعد تماما عن الترجمة العربي لأن أنت لو جيت ترجم عربي كلمة plot هتلاقيها الحبكة فهمت حاجة من كلمة الحبكة؟ ما فهمناش إنما in English plot is the arrangement of events that make up a story arrangement of events that make up story ترتيب الأحداث اللي بيعمل لنا قصة typical fictional plots begin with an exposition exposition that provides background information needed to make sense of the action describe the setting and introduces the major characters These plots develop a series of complications or intensifications of the conflict that led to a crisis or a moment of great tension. يعني ايه الكلام ده؟ The plot بتبتدي بحاجة اسمها exposition. Exposition دي بتعمل ايه؟ بتديني background information. بتديني sense of the action. بتعمل description لل setting وبتعمل introduction لل major character. Exposition. بعد كده الاكسبوزيشن دي هتوديني حته تانية اسمها complications complications عقد بتحصل intensification complication intensification same meaning العقد اللي بتحصل او الكلكال اللي بتحصل دي بتاعت ايه بتاعت ال conflict conflict الصراع الصراع is going to lead us to the crisis crisis ال crisis دي moment of great tension دي الكلايمكس بتاعة العقدة بتاعتي تمام؟ يبقى ال plots contain subcomponents اللي هما crisis conflict resolution crisis conflict resolution crisis زي ما قلنا هي المومنت الكلايمكس بتاعة التنشن بتاعي ال conflict portrays either a struggle between opposing forces or a problem to be solved Conflict may occur between people, nature, machines, أي حاجة. A conflict is a struggle between two persons, more than two persons, a person and nature, and so on. Resolution, resolution, the hell is how the conflict is solved. The conflict, لما بتحل حاجة اسمها. الصورة اللطيفة دي بتوضح لنا the plot أكتر. The plot بتبتدي بأي exposition, exposition. بعد كده بيجي the conflict, صراع. The conflict da be zid rising action rising action. The conflict da we know some the high point climax climax. We need to get hell falling action falling action resolution da be in the end the end the end the end the end the end. The only thing we need to think the second is the second is comprised of the time and location of the short story. Time and location of the short story is called setting. Major elements of setting, of setting are the time, the place, and the social environment that frames the characters. This element establishes the world in which the characters act. The setting is the العالم اللي بيمثل فيه الممثلين الوقت فين الوقت والمكان والenvironment حواليهم عاملة إزاي. The setting importance is giving the readers the feel of the people who move through it. Setting can be used to evoke a mood or atmosphere that will prepare the readers for what is to come. 
إذا إيه هي الفايدة بتاعت السيتنج؟ إن هي بتقولي المود بتقولي الانفايرومنت بتاعت الانفايرومنت اللي حوالين الأكترز وهم بيمثلوا فبالتالي الريدا بيبقى بريبيرد بيبقى مهيأ لإيه اللي هيجي. Third we have the characters. The characters are the actors in the story. الناس اللي جوه الشخصيات اللي جوه الستوري. An author may choose to reveal the characters in chiefly two ways. إزاي الأوثر المؤلف بينقلي الشخصيات دي عاملة إزاي؟ بيستخدم حاجتين، بيستخدم حاجة اسمها direct characterization indirect characterization. Direct characterization and indirect characterization. Direct characterization involves the author explicitly telling the reader about the character. For example, when I say that this character is a good, it is a good character. يبقى أنا كده قلتها بطريقة direct. أما ال indirect involves the author revealing the character through the character's action and words. ممكن يجيب لي شخصية مرسومة إن هي عمالة تقول كلام حلو. So it is a good character. أنا عرفت إزاي from her or his words. Must also use a combination of both direct and indirect characterization. Character in fiction can be conventionally classified into major, minor, static, and dynamic. Major character, شخصيات الرئيسية أو الشخصية الرئيسية. A major character is an important figure at the center of the story's action or theme. The major character is sometimes called a protagonist. ساعات the major character بنسميه protagonist. Protagonist whose conflict with an antagonist. الشخصية اللي بيبقى in conflict with the protagonist بسميه antagonist يبقى الشخصية اللي ضد the protagonist بنسميها antagonist protagonist and antagonist supporting the major character are one or more secondary or minor characters يبقى the minor character هو مين هو اللي بيعمل support لل major character minor character ليها اسم تاني secondary character The function of the A, whose function is to portray, is to partly eliminate the the major characters. Minor characters are often static, static, and static, unchanging. If the minor characters are often static, they remain the same from the beginning of a word, of a work to the end. They remain the same from the beginning of a word, of a work to the end. So, if the minor character is changed, the case is called dynamic character. Dynamic character. The theme, the theme of a story is the central principle around which the story is a story and character revolves. Again, the theme of a story is the central principle around which the story and character revolves. Longer short stories and novels will have multiple themes. However, most short stories develop one or perhaps two themes. Some have suggested that the theme may be described as the lesson to be learned. However, it is best to describe it as the main idea or the guiding principle of the story. If a theme, هو ال الفكرة الرئيسية اللي بتدور حواليها كل الأحداث كل الشخصيات الأماكن كل حاجة موجودة عندي في الستوري. ساعات بنقول عليها lesson to be learned, but actually this definition is archaic. Archaic يعني قديم. لي قديم. إحنا الترم اللي فات درسنا إن the beginning of the novel was 18th century. During this century, كان النوفل لازم يبقى في lesson to be learned behind behind it. But in the 20th and 21st centuries, no. So lesson to be learned is an archaic definition to the word theme. It is better to say that the theme is the main idea of the story. So theme is the main idea. Or the guiding principle of the story. Then, theme is the central idea or meaning of the story. Theme is uh, theme in fiction is rarely presented at all. It is abstracted from the details of character and action that compose the story. معناها إن المؤلف مش من أول ما هيبتدي القصة بتاعته أو من نصها هيقول لك أن الثيم بتاعي one to three لا هو هيسيبك to abstract it from the details and actions. I see the consistent figure in the details of the action. It provides a unified point around which the plot, character, setting, point of view, symbols, and other elements of a story are organized. 
الثيم بيديني يونيفاينج بوينت بيوحد لي ايه بيوحد لي البلوت والكاركتر السيتنج والبوينت اوف فيو السيمبلز وكل الاليمنتس بتاعت الشورت ستوري فاينل بيس اوف ادفايس بي كارفول تو ديستانجويز ثيم فور فروم بلوت ذا ستوري سيكونس اكشن اند فروم سبجكت ويتش ذا ستوري از جنرالي اباوت يقول لك ما ما تقولش على الثيم ما تلخبطش بمعنى اصح بين الثيم والبلوت والسبجكت لأن البلوت ده الستوري سيكونس أوف أكشن السبجكت هو ذا ستوري إز جنرالي أباوت أما الثيم هي السنترال أيديا أور مينينج أوف ا ستوري ليتس ناو موف تو ذا بوينت أوف فيو بوينت أوف فيو وجهة النظر ذا بوينت أوف فيو ديسكرايب ذا ريفرنس بوينت أوف ذا ستوري هاو ذا ذا أوثر تشوز تو ريفيل ذا ستوري هل ترو ذا أيز أوف ذا مين كاركتر أو ترو ستاندر عادة عادة في تلاتة بوينت أوف فيو بنستخدمهم يعني الكاتب قرر يقول لنا القصة من خلال إيه؟ هل من خلال كاركتر معينة؟ هل من خلال ماينر كاركتر ليها دور صغير؟ هل من خلال حد معدي فشاف القصة فابتدى يحكيها لنا؟ هل من خلال راوية الراوية مش موجود من أساسه؟ Point of view refers to who tells a story and how it is told. The possible ways of telling a story are many, and more than one point of view can be worked into a single story. They are studying the twenty or twenty-first century. There is more than one point of view in a single story. They use more than point of view. But the man, when the novel started, no, it was just one point. أشهر ثلاثة point of view عندنا first person, third person limited, third person omniscient. First person point of view reveals the thoughts of the main character and involves the use of first person pronouns for the main character, such as the example. I was afraid when I faced the dragon, but I wasn't sure of how so felt. First person. هو هنا بيحكي عن إحساسه أو ما شاف الدراجون كان عامل إزاي بس هو مش عارف سو إيه إحساسها بالدراجون طيب نفس الجملة دي لما أخدها third person third person limited view reveals uh, the thought of the main characters but from an outsider's perspective بيديني الشعور بتاع الهيرو بتاعي أو المين كاركتر بتاعي بس من وجهة نظر outsider طب ليه limited؟ نقرا الاكزامبل وهنفهم يعني ايه كلمه ليميتد ليميتد يعني محدود طب محدود ليه بوب واز افريد وين هي فيس ذا دراجون هو ال سو ريمايند ميستيريوس بوب واز افريد وين هي فيس ذا دراجون هو ال سو ريمايند ميستيريوس ثيرد بيرسون نحكي من وجهه نظر حد ثالث الحد الثالث ده ما عندوش دخول على مشاعر غير مشاعر حد واحد بس اللي هو بوب بوب واز افريد وين هي فيس ذا دراجون طب سو لا ما يقدرش يدخل على ال feelings بتاعتها. third person omniscient بقى view reveals the thought of any character the author chooses. they Bob was afraid of the dragon as well as Sue but she had the presence of mind uh, not to show her fear. third person omniscient ممكن يدخل على ال thoughts أو ال mind بتاع any character. so again first person يبقى هنا ال ال story بتتحكي من وجهة نظر واحد. ما بقدرش اعرف بقيه الناس بتفكر ازاي غير الشخص اللي بيحكي لي الستوري هو الثيرد بيرسون ليميتد شخص واحد برضو اللي بيحكي بس الشخص الواحد ده مش هيبقى انا مش هيبقى حد بيمثل this is the difference between first person and third person limited بس هو هيختار شخص واحد بس يبتدي يحكي من خلال الثوتس والفيلينجز بتاعته ثيرد بيرسون اومنيشن ثيرد بيرسون اومنيشن ممكن يحكي من وجهه نظر اي كاركتر موجوده in the story Again, third person narrative, omniscient, limited, and objective. Omniscient, the narrator is all-knowing and takes the reader inside the character's thoughts, feelings, and motives, as well as shows what the characters say and do. Am limited, the narrator takes the reader inside one or at most very few characters, but neither a reader nor the characters has access to the inner lives of any of the acts of other characters in the story. أما الـ objective the narrator doesn't see into the mind of any character rather he or she reported the action 
and dialogue without telling the reader directly what the characters fear and think. Third person, third person objective, the kitab مخدناهوش. Third person objective, ده عبارة عن حد شايف القصة كلها بس ما قدرش يدخل على أي feeling أو أي mind من the characters. First person narrator, the narrator presents the point of view of only one character's uh, consciousness, with limits the, the, um, which limits the narrative to what the first person narrator knows, experience, and fears, and can find out by talking to other characters. And finally, we have a good short story writing. And this will include engaging dialogue, sensory description, vivid action, as well as tightly woven narrative. elements short story, but elements definitions بيساعدونا إن إحنا نقدر نفهم النوفل أو الشورت ستوري أكتر زي إيه زي التون تون is the author's attitude toward the readers toward the readers subject and the people places and events in a work as revealed by the elements of the author's style tone may be characterized as a serious or ironic sad or happy private or public angry or affectionate better or savage or any other attitude and feeling that Human beings experience. If the tone بتاعت التون ال 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 النبرة بتاعت المؤلف هل هي سعيد مقصود متضايق أي حاجة. Assemble. Assemble is a person, object, image, word, um, or event that evokes a range of additional meaning beyond uh, and usually more abstract than its literal significance. سيمبل رمز رمز حاجة معينة ممكن شخص يرمز لحاجة شيء يرمز لحاجة صورة يرمز لحاجة سيمبلز ار ديفايسز فور ايفوكينج كومبلكس ايديز وذاوت هافينج تو ريزورت تو بينستيكينج اكسبلانيشن ساعات الكاتب بيستخبى ورا الرمز عشان ما يقولش حاجة دايركتلي فور اكزامبل لو هو كان حاجة سياسية مش عايز ان هو يتكلم او في السياسة بنجيب رمز ممكن يجيب صورة عشان ما يقولش الكلام اللي هو مش قادر يقوله. Style is the way a writer chooses the words بتاعته. Words ممكن نقول عليها diction. Arranges them into sentences and longer units of discourse like syntax and exploits their significance. Style is the verbal identity of a writer as unmistakable as his or his face or voice. Reflecting their in, in uh, their individuality, writers style convey their unique ways of seeing the world. Style, style. For example, Shakespeare has a unique style. From reading from reading just few lines from Shakespeare, you are going to be sure that this is Shakespeare's irony. Irony is not so much an element of fiction as a precise quality in it. It may appear in fiction in three ways: in a word, language, in its incidents, or in its points of view. But in uh, but in whatever form it emerges, only involves a contrast or discrepancy between one thing and another. The contrast may be between what it is said and what meant. Verbal irony: what's expected to happen and what actually happens. Situational irony. Or between what a character believes or say and what the reader understands to be true, dramatic irony. Well, irony is not elements from the elements of fiction, but it is something from the qualities or something from the terms that we must understand them when we study the short story or the novel. I have two types. The first thing is verbal irony. Verbal irony. What is verbal irony? يعني ان انا اقول حاجه بس انا يبقى قصدي حاجه تانية خالص يعني فور اكزامبل لما لما حد يقول لحد صاحبه uh, it's okay i'm not hungry but his tone actually proves that he is angry this is called verbal irony what's expected to happen and what actually happened situational irony انا مستني الحاجه دي تحصل بس ما حصلتش حصلت حاجه تانية situational situational irony او dramatic irony اللي احنا اخر حاجه 
عملناها ديسكشن في ايديبس ان الكاركتر تبقى فاهمه حاجه بس الاودينس اللي قاعدين قصاده فاهمين الحقيقه او فاهمين الحاجه اللي هو مش قادر يفهمها This is called dramatic irony. That's it for today and thank you for listening.